there it is right there y'all brand new ami bucket right there this bucket is called the jawbone bucket I got something I'm going to show y'all here and just give, and give you a sneak peek on right quick and then I'll get into this a little bit later. And uh, I had this one autographed right here too, so very cool. We're going to take the straps off of it. I'm kind of in a time crunch. I got to get the hydraulic shot, get some hoses made. I'm going to let y'all watch how I, uh, how I do the length for the hoses that I need. So first thing, we got to get it off the uh, pallet right here and on the ground. These things are awesome for this stuff right here. This one's not tight. This one's tight. Okay. Got them, got a couple of zip ties up here. All right, let's line her up. Moment of truth, people. <laughs> I've gotten some things in the past that it didn't line up on. The only thing you could do then is just go to the machine shop. But man, Jeff and them up there at AMI, they are on the money. You see that? Look at that. I'm telling you right there, baby. Heck yeah. Let's put the pin in it. On it, buddy. dog's gonna hunt this is the bucket that the thumb and cylinder is gonna come off i'm not gonna need any more this is a uh, four-in-one type bucket it opens right there i'll show y'all how it works i gotta get some measurements right quick though so i want to show all the signatures in it uh, before this bucket was built i got a hold of ian up there and uh and i told him i said man i said i want to do something with this one here and i said when you get the bucket done and you get it uh painted i said get everybody that'll sign it give them a sharpie and let them sign their name in it here that works at the factory and uh so that's what i did i sent them some stickers they put that one in the bucket right there and which of course that won't last very long and they stuck one back here on the back too right there and I think it's around 40 some odd signatures here. Uh, Dad counted on the day when it came in, and uh, that's what he said. He said he thought it was about 40 of them. He signed it right there. So I told him to sign it. If they want to write something in it, write something in it. But the, the thing about it is, is very seldom do the guys and girls that actually are behind the scenes that, that make this stuff that we run day in and day out that you see in my videos and everybody's videos do they get any recognition so i just wanted to uh give them give them all some uh, recognition here that's pretty cool to uh to see this thing finally uh sitting here on the machine like this right here this is actually called the ami jawbone bucket they've got ami has some really cool names for the bucket, the grafter, the Kraken, um, 
the jawbone right here and they got one they call a kick box that you don't even have to dump or anything it actually push the stuff out that goes on front end loaders but this one is a jawbone it's got a actuator built in right here and that's what makes the jaw open and close on it I had them put a lifting point on it. That's just for a seven eight. So I can put a uh, seven eight shackle on there or clevis in there, and uh, attach it to the back of it right there. So I think the thirty two is going to work. Let me check it here real quick. Measure it on both sides, and we'll see. So we're in the mecca of hydraulics right now, man. He's putting it in a chop saw here. He's got a table. Let me stretch it out. Okay. Alright, that's one. They're going to go ahead and cut another one right quick. Alright, good. Alright, now we're going to slide the the ends on right there and we're gonna go up here and crimp them on so he's gonna blow the hose out and then even after he blows the hole up yeah that's right they're half so he blows them out and then i'll clean them out too when i get home just to be sure you go. gonna lube it up yep. some astro lube in there watch him slide this thing together now very important to make sure it bottoms out. If it does not bottom out, it will blow back off within like five minutes. Yep. So there's the crimper. She always come rolling up in here just a little bit before quitting time too. And you know, make these old boys have to get with the program. <laughs> Once it's bottomed out, it's ready to be crimped then. Same process on the other side. Works you put this one all on? Here, no, check them, make sure. Check, make sure. I can't twist it anymore. I'm pretty sure it's Alright, so you're going to slide it up in there. That's crimp. Then you got a hose that's made up right there. So that one, that one's mine. It's going on the new bucket right there. The other one's the one that busted on me last night and about sprayed me on a mini excavator. So that one's crimp. You're going to get the other end. So this is a hose that I just had made up and we're gonna pull the fittings off of here real quick. I had people last time I did this wanted to, they want to kind of see everything. So this is what uh, what I'm about to do. They blew it out with air. I still don't trust it though. I like to wash them just to be on the safe side. And I use uh, any kind of uh, brake cleaner through them. This happens to be my last can of this stuff. I can't stand this stuff. This stuff, it don't. I like to kind of evaporate real quick, and that right there don't. Uh, so I spray that down through it, and then I take the air hose and blast it out. Let me go ahead and get the other one too while I'm at it here. Lay that in right there behind y'all. Go and screw it here, and then we're going to put it all together. 
Let's spray it in there. And put as much as you want through it. Just blow it out. Make sure the other end of the hose is turned away from you when you blow it. Because the reason why you do that is you don't want any kind of rubber to get hung in a control valve somewhere on the machine. Because, man, it could... Say if it did get past the return filter or for whatever reason it missed it. Man, you talking about causing you some problems. Holy cow. So we're going to go ahead and put the adapter fittings in the quick connects here. Scare them in the vise. Real quick. Well, they're locked down pretty good. This is just an inch and a quarter. Got that one done. I'm gonna leave these loose. So, depending on how I wanna, just make sure I get them clocked right. Let's put them on the machine. And then we're gonna go uh, install them then. All right, let's go. I'm gonna install the lines on it now. I'll wait for it to tighten it down. Okay. I'll crank it up and fold it up and check it in just a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like under the covers. I took, it's got three covers on. It's got one right here and then one in the middle and one over there. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, to see how everything was routed and all that good stuff like that and uh did a fantastic job on it uh doing all that right there looks really really good uh see no oil nowhere so those in the know know what kind of washers those are right there that's what they put on this thing man i'm pretty impressed with the with that that's what our processor head has all over them all righty so the thumb is off of it now Here's the collars that I had made right there to go back in place. Got one on that side and one on this side. This is for this is where the thumb would normally pin at and sit right here. So I had those collars made where it would take up that. I could have bought a pin, but I couldn't have bought a pin for what I got those collars made for. I can promise you that. There's no telling what that pin cost from Kubota. So you know bought a shorter pin for without a thumb but i didn't want to do that so that's what i did all right so the thumb if you ever go to take this pin out of one of these machines right there is a spring pin that you gotta drive out i know why kubota did it that thing was a booger to uh, drive out to get it started moving i had a heck of a time with it of course there's a spring pin that holds this pin in right there too there's the thumb there's no telling what that thing weighs the thumb and the cylinder together it is very heavy because this all i can do to kind of slide it around on the floor by myself it, it uh it's pretty dang heavy i like the way the end of the stick looks now without it because i had uh i had measured this thing and it was 24 inches out with it sucked all the way up. It's what the clearance that uh, that I was losing right there. So that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a lot better. Get rid of that weight out there too. So y'all ready to go see it work? Let's go see it work right quick. Okay, y'all are about to get to see it work here. That is a very good looking bucket for the functionality of it too. The hydraulic actuator up here in the top right there that runs all the way across gives you no cylinders right there and what here's the other thing that it does it gives you a massive rotation right here this thing will come all the way back and i'll, I'll 
display that here in just a second and I'll show that we're gonna walk around the bucket here real quick you can see it's hard ox my inner strengths right there it comes with a two-year warranty I like it because this one comes with a reversible replaceable cutting edge right here for the smooth edge that's what's gonna be so cool about this thing is is you'll be able to dig like crazy and have a smooth cutting edge at the same time not only that but biting stuff and I'm gonna show that with the serrated edges on it right there on the jaws right there and right there and then also in here so it's grease right here the way this thing works you pump it and it's got a grease vent right there you can pump it till it comes till it comes out the vent right there is what you can do on both sides so there's a grease vent right there too all right so the moment that everybody's been waiting for let's see this bad boy work right quick about to rub everybody's names off of here so uh, everybody that signed it I appreciate y'all signing it here let everybody look at it one last time before I do this they stuck one of my stickers in there <laughs> that was pretty cool mr. Steve Fry signed it he is the owner mr. Bernie signed it too very very cool so this is gonna be neat and you see you got you got serrated edges right there in here you see that thing opens opens up well that's not even all the way it'll open up even further than that but so you'll be able to bite logs with it too so let's see what she'll do
So look at that, that's gonna be pretty slick right there, man. And just open that thing up. And use that edge right there. That's gonna be pretty cool. Very cool. And the angles are still holding up in there pretty good too.
So I'm going to wrap this video up real quick. I had several requests wanting to see the, the hydraulic lines, how I clean them out. So I put that in there. You can put it in where we made the hydraulic lines. And I got the video pretty long. Right now it's like 2649 or something like that long. And so I'm not going to put any more in it other than what you've seen right there. And we'll kind of let it run like that. All right, so one really cool thing that I have in my possession. I have an actual start to finish video of behind the scenes of how this bucket is built all the way from a computer to the time it goes out on the truck and it is very very cool i'm impressed with jeff and them up there for putting this together but they have sent it to me and so i may put it out saturday or something like that but i messed with the bucket i did this digging with it yesterday and uh just getting a feel of it and uh playing with it you'll be seeing this bucket quite a lot in uh any of any of my digging videos or anything like that that's that's what you'll end up seeing is going to be that jawbone bucket right there so uh ami makes a lot of attachments and they make them for any size machine to front end loaders excavators the whole nine yards they make it all so if you have any need for any kind of attachment for an excavator and it doesn't matter whether it's a real small one like a mini like what i've got even all the way up to the biggest monster machines they can handle making the making an attachment for it so uh check them out at so we'll catch y'all later later taters